Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make my spin on a coconut tiramisu. This is a booze and coffee free kid friendly recipe. Before we get started on the recipe, don't forget if you enjoy this video to give it a big thumbs up and click down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. So to get started on the lady fingers, this recipe is very similar to a sponge cake. So what I did was grab three eggs and I divided the egg whites and the egg yolks. And I'm going to beat my egg whites with a quarter cup of sugar until it turns into a meringue and stiff peaks form. Now once those turn into stiff peaks, I'm going to transfer those into a separate bowl so we can whip the egg yolks. You don't even have to clean your mixer. I'm going to add the egg yolks, another quarter cup of granulated sugar, and the vanilla extract, half a teaspoon, and whisk this together. So the mixture should be real yellow and thick, just like this. Now what I'm going to do is actually mix the egg whites into the egg yolks. Just folding them in gently, you don't want to deflate them. Now this is where the recipe differs a little bit from a sponge cake. I am using almond flour, one cup of almond flour instead of regular flour. And so what I'm going to do is just add this a little bit, like half of it, and then fold it in. And the rest of the flour. And then a quarter cup of bisquick. So the mixture is also going to be a little denser than a regular sponge cake. You don't want to mix it too much, but just enough so that you don't see um, the flour on the sides of the bowl. Now I'm going to add the ladyfinger mixture into a piping bag. So here I have the ladyfinger mix that I've added into a piping bag with a piping tip. And I'm going to pipe these maybe like two inches long. You're going to leave a little bit of space in between them so that they have enough room to spread a little bit. However many lady fingers you get depends on how big and long you pipe them. What? Bro, so, what are you talking about, man? Like I said, I'm doing about two inch lady fingers so I'll let you know how much this gives me and I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees for about nine to ten minutes so these are the lady fingers after they have been completely cooled this recipe was enough for 27 lady fingers again you can make them smaller or you can make them all bigger and it just depends on how big or small you make them how many you will get so I just want to show you guys a little close-up. They're nice and spongy, almost like a sponge cake, but just with a little harder shell. So this is going to be perfect for a tiramisu, and they're going to soak in any liquid that you put in them. I think it's going to be delicious. So here I have a medium saucepan filled with water about halfway that I have over a medium-high heat. So then I'm going to place a heat-safe bowl. I'm going to add two egg yolks. I'm going to make a really easy pastry cream. I'm going to go ahead and just start mixing those along with a quarter cup of granulated sugar. And this is going to act as a double boiler to cook the eggs and give us a nice custard. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of heavy cream slowly while whisking. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of bisquick. You can also use cornstarch. I would start with one or two teaspoons of cornstarch. So after about three minutes total whisking, you'll see that the mixture thickens up. Now I'm going to place this into a bowl and place that in the fridge or freezer for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes to let it cool completely. 
Now I'm going to make a really easy coconut whipped cream and so what I have for that is cream of coconut and I actually left this can in the refrigerator overnight so that it firms up because it's easier to whip once the cream of coconut is cold. So what I'm going to do is just grab a half cup of this solidified stuff here. So about a little less than a half cup. You can definitely uh, bring in a hand mixer or mix it in your mixer. I'm going to whisk this up until it turns into like a nice creamy consistency. Sort of like a coconut whipped cream. Then I have my mascarpone cheese. I'm going to add a half cup in here. Mascarpone cheese is somewhat similar to cream cheese but it is less tangier it's a nice softer flavor and it definitely works great with desserts i'm going to add that in there and i'm going to whisk the mascarpone and the coconut whipped cream together to loosen that a bit and add a little more coconut flavor i'm adding an eighth cup of the liquid part of the cream of coconut Then I'm going to grab the cooled pastry cream and whisk that in there as well. And I'm going to let this all cool and thicken in the fridge. Now I'm going to make a really easy whipped cream for the top layer of the tiramisu. So I have half a cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and vanilla extract that I'm just going to whisk together by hand until it thickens and turns into a whipped cream. All right, after a few minutes of whisking this by hand, it should be nice and thick. I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator until we're ready to use this. So here I have my lady fingers that we made earlier, and these are definitely a lot softer and spongier than store-bought ones, so you don't need to dip these in whatever liquid you're using for too long. Like I stated earlier, this is a kid-friendly, boozy-free tiramisu, so I am using coconut milk. And then here I have my dish where I'm going to form the tiramisu. This is an eight by eight inch square pan. And so all I'm going to do is just dip my lady fingers just for a few seconds and then place that in the bottom of the pan. Let me bring that over so you can see what I'm doing. And again, I'm using coconut milk, so there is some chunks in there. If you want this to be boozy, you can use like a rum chata or something. Now we can add the mascarpone pastry cream mixture. Scoop that all over these. And now the next layer of lady fingers. You're gonna have so much delicious coconut flavor in each layer. It's gonna be amazing. And now finally, we could top it off with the whipped cream layer. I'm just using an offset spatula to spread that evenly all over. You can dust this with cocoa powder the traditional way a tiramisu is made, but I have something better in mind. Here I have some homemade almond toffee. Really easy to make, you just heat up some sugar, butter, pour that over parchment paper, add some chopped almonds, let it freeze, and you get this delicious toffee. So what I'm going to do is just break this into really small pieces and add this over my tiramisu. So I crushed up the toffee. I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the tiramisu. I'm going to let this chill in the refrigerator for about an hour. So here's the tiramisu after it is completely chilled. I'm going to cut a nice little slice here.
Mm. That is a coconut lover's dream. The almond based lady fingers complement the coconut so well, so creamy. The lady fingers absorb that coconut flavor, super spongy, super delicious with a nice crunch from the toffee. Oh my God, this is amazing. All right guys, so I just wanna show you guys a little behind the scenes fail that happened with these cookies. So I actually had to make two separate batches because the first time I made these, as you can see, I'm using a round tip piping tip and you can already tell the shape is not looking so well. So anyways, when I baked these, they ended up looking like um, little weenuses. No! God! Please, and no! No! yeah, I, I had no! to redo the whole thing over. No! Thank you guys for watching my recipe video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Check out my blog linked ahead and my latest video.